Hello, 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 Tuta here, coming in next to bring you a new video series. In a game that is old as heck. Put up a little bit, probably I say three. It is called Fleet Command, and it came out. I don't know when, I can't remember. And I played the living hell of this game before I even knew anything about <laughs> <coughs> strategy and what modern combat was like. Um, ignore this one. Or this one. These really don't fucking matter. Uh, these are my logs. I would like to actually... You know what? Oh. I guess it is fun. Yeah, log a different commander. Uh... Player name. Can I just... Can I just, like, cancel my... No? Okay. We'll do some of this stuff. Yeah, hold on. I'm the man. It doesn't really matter. Alright. You know what? We'll do it this way. To do a new one. Player name? Too tall. Let's play. That is not enough... Thank you. I know how to type. There we go. No record for this admiral. Do, 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 do. Now, I don't have a timer on how long this is going to be, so. This should be a fun one. I'll have to manually split this up into clips, I guess. So. Actually, what I'll do is I'll do just a stopwatch. So, this first episode is going to be a little longer than normal. Now, I've been thinking, what do I want to do? I'm going to do a tutorial, but I already know everything. I'm thinking, well, let me just, what if I do a single mission go throughout the entirety? And the more stars, the harder it is. I'm like, that might be a good idea, but at the same time, there's so much, and some of them are really boring and uh, tacky. So, we're going to do the campaigns. I know the campaigns. I've played through them twice, and they are all hard as hell. I think we'll do this one. Campaign Region 1. Bay of Bengal. India has mobilized and favorable assault forces and has deployed INS Verret in the Gulf of Manor. Your forces are to transit the southwest coast of Sri Lanka to pressure India to withdraw forces. Sri Lanka fears Indian military buildup in preparations to final invasion force and collapse of the government. United Nations requested that a U.S. carrier battle group be sent to the area to stabilize the region. Gee, I wonder what that's from this up. Tasking message. Transit to within 35 nautical miles southwest of Sri Lanka's coast. Repulse Indian naval forces which attempt to prevent U.S. care about a group forces from completing this mission. The U.S. ambassador may be extracted from the embassy in Sri Lanka if situation worsens. Be alert for neutral air and merchant traffic operating in this area. General tasking messages may be received during this mission. Updated tasking message received. Okay. So. Currently, right now, I have what's called quick launch. So that's pretty much alerts that normally it would take minutes. Actually, I can do it by showing it this way. Nope. Oh, oh, this is important. Yeah. Updated tasking message. So uh, it took me a while to figure it out. Press F1 and it gives you all the information here. F2 makes this a little bigger so you can see, which is nicer. 3 is a full 3D screen. Let's see, yeah. Updating and tasking messages. The Airway Commander reports that aviation safety standard... Their safety stand down is complete and aircraft carrier flight operations may resume. Intel... Ooh! Oh, this should be fun. I didn't read... Okay, Indian message... Or intelligence messages. Indian carrier battle group operating in the Gulf of Manor, about 35 nautical miles northwest of Colombo. Russia has deployed Tu-22M Blackfire aircraft to India. China has delivered a squadron of B-6 Badger aircraft to India. Indian submarine activity in the region is significant. Yosemite Sri Lanka is urging all Americans to leave the country. All Indian naval forces are considered hostile. We are now in an open shooting war. Now, I forwarded that. Any messages? Now, this will fill up in game. I'm gonna go to S6 here real quick. Uh, you know what? I'll do it this way. We'll do. We won't do quick aircraft launch. For the first mission. 
on-demand subcoms. No, that replenish air stations. I don't know what that does. Uh, if that's on. I'll have the ships auto-engage incoming missiles because trust me, <laughs> uh, missile saturation is a bitch. And I engage aircraft like this is what they would do automatically. Is they would auto ID incoming air targets. I'll do that myself. Aircraft engaging hostiles after yeah. So once they realize, oh hey, it's a hostile. I'm gonna shoot at it. And ships auto engage incoming missiles. So that's the only um hands off thing I'll have. Now, one nice thing is that this is a random. So you start off with five ships, this, but what exact composition they are, are random. Except for the carrier. You will always have a carrier. We have, in this case, a Nimitz-class carrier, the USS Roosevelt, CVN-71. She is a beauty. She has ESSM uh, self-defense missiles and 6,000 <laughs> six rounds of uh, cannon ammo, which is the failing SEWA system. Now, for the longest time, I had no idea how the fuck this shit worked, and I'm just like, oh my god, these things are fucking useless. They can't shoot down anything. Well, that's because I've been having them used without any of the fucking radar. No F FC radar. Fire control radar. That makes those SEVAs a lot deadly. <laughs> Problem is, in order to try to see uh, fire control radar, you have to activate one of these two radar. The sh ship air search radar? Or the surface search radar? And these are just generics, supposedly. That's, I say supposedly generics. They're not like the special APQ and ASQ and other things. What is always random is your fleet composition. So it looks like we have USS Antietam, a Ticonderoga class VLS, because there's two classes of this one. They have the VLS system and the non-VLS system. VLS system is so much better because they get a lot of SM2s. Looks like we have two, Normandy and Antietam. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Now in the back we should have our Arleigh Burks, yeah, the USS John McCain, an Arleigh Burke class destroyer. And the USS Fitzgerald. Oh Jesus Christ, both these ships got rammed! Oh, <laughs> this should be fun. Now, we only have to flight one Arleigh Burke class destroyers, which isn't too bad. They just don't, they just have no helicopters. The only ones that have helicopters are the, um, Ticonderogas. And obviously the carrier too. So, because we have the long load, so that was originally five seconds to get, to, oh, no, uh, wait. To get this uh, launch up for the Seahawk, it is now five minutes. Because alert status 30, 30 minutes to launch. Alert status 15, 15 minutes to launch. Alert status five, five minutes to launch. Now, I am going to immediately get an E2 Hawkeye up because we are going to need this. It's gonna take 30 fucking minutes and this is really in game, so. Green deck launch aircraft. Affirmative. And then I am going to launch. Oh, it's gonna take three minutes. Get. It's gonna take three minutes. But we'll get um two Tomcats up. So we'll get four Tomcats up. Launch aircraft immediately. And then we'll, we'll get out. some Hornets up. I'd say. Kick those aircraft and then for the our deck. flight deck. We'll once they get off, uh. I'll get one for oh that's anti surface. Uh that's the electronic warfare version. Let's shoot two to ASW. It took me years to figure out that you can actually switch the loadouts by doing that. So let's get you guys. We're gonna take thirty minutes. Oh you'll take thirty but not you. Alright, so we'll get you up in the air. We'll put you on alert status fifteen. We'll move you up to alert status 15, these two to alert status 5. Get that aircraft airborne. Out. For our Tomcats, well, let's get these two to alert status, four to alert status 15, and the rest to alert status 30, because we're about to get into a real out. good shooting war. Oh, you don't have to do that every time, I don't know why I do that. Three, four. Three, four. Five, six. Now, alert status 5 is tricky because in order to get alert status 5, they actually come up on deck and they're sitting on the catapults to launch. It's fine, it just, you know, means where you have two catapults to take it up. And Seahawks. This is fine, I'll put you on alert status 5. Alert status 15 for you and your launch. This is all fine. For your flight deck, uh, move them to alert status 15. 
Same with all of you. I want you both. Affirmative. Status 15. All right, and because we are now currently sailing blind, because as you can see, this map here in the left here, it's dark. When well, I say it's dark, it's there's no um signifying that we have any radar coverage. So we are complying. We are completely passive. Okay, so I guess I just received. Uh, okay, so what we are getting here, and I'm going to pause again. Our source, low frequency passive sonar. So we're actually getting this guy up on our low frequency passive sonar from the Normandy. And actually Normandy, instead of doing that alert 15. You do that one to alert 15. I'm going to have this guy take off. Launch aircraft. We'll go out. Um, okay, sometimes it just doesn't want to fucking listen with the map because this game's so fucking old. And it's like, the monitor, what this is actually showing... It's actually my mom's obviously crash. fixing it, but this this thing is about the size like this. That is how big it is on my monitor, but obviously it's compensating for it because it's showing the whole fucking monitor. All right, we're not going to use any active radar from our goddamn carrier, but we will have one in two caddy corridor, one from Antietam here with her radar. So we're going to go surface search, and then we do be a little bit caddy cornered. So now these ships, the enemy, know exactly where they are because they just went hot. And there we go. Here we go. So I can't catch the things off, but I know, but we're, we just got there. Alright, so this guy should theoretically automatically engage. I can't verify that. Oh, there we go. Alright. AG system go zoom. Oh, All right, well, he's he flew too close to the sun. Hit him with this one too. Now this thing actually has a sea waves and it's quite annoying. So I'm actually going to take this Gerald here. Zero one two. That guy's flying way too fast to be a. No, he might be. Yeah, this guy's flying way too fast to be a... Sometimes you can just telephones it a, a uh, what's it called, it or not. Ah, uh, we got more missiles than coming. Now, I can tell them what to engage with... Oh, Jesus, fuck. Oh, I just knew about the shift click for the... Oh, we had it set. Now, I'm not taking any chances, so we're going to do a double shot. And this is how an American battle group would defend itself. Let's watch this. Yeah, but this is how it would defend itself. Sam's out. Yep, I was right. Yeah, that's a... That's a new. That's a sea eagle. Okay, this one's already... And they, are, they will, if they miss, they'll shoot another round unless you tell them not to. Chaff. Oh, uh, that's a hurt. That's a hurt one. Who's that going to? Fire control, fire control, fire control. Alright. Fuck it, the fleet's just gonna go hot, evidently. Alright, well. Yeah, trying to dodge an SM2. Forget it! An SM2 is probably one of the best fucking. Miss, the SM series is just one of the best fucking Sams. And, uh. Nice thing about the SM2 is that it's dual purpose. Now, this is by no means a good anti-ship missile. Only reason why I'm using it against this little tiny thing is because it's a small little missile boat, and it has a very effective SeaWiz system, and this thing... SeaWiz is not that good when it comes to a supersonic missile, for the most part. And this is such a small missile that this thing will actually struggle to hit it. 
Actually, it might be coming in too fast to the point where it, yeah. And that thing's so small. We don't really need to worry about SM from him. And you, I think this guy already shot his loop. Uh, so a trick with him, he has a pretty decent tool. So we're gonna launch two at him. And I think about the SM2 is we should still have a shit ton. Like I got two early birds back here full of them. This guy still has 80, you have 79. And then once we get our aircraft sort of rolling around, we'll be fine. Because the aircraft can engage in missiles as well. And we got a little cargo ship. You got the USS Annapolis here, our submarines. I have <laughs> submarines, I, I've never really found a good use for them. So we got the USS Annapolis here. She has a Los Angeles 6 n 8 i so she has a vertical launch system and is the improved version. It's a very good submarine. And here we have another 6, oh, just the original USS Los Angeles 688. Kill track, one, four, one, one. Ah, I guess four SM2s were enough to do it. Okay. Now, our um, sensors, not where that goes, actually, I'm going to try on the sonar just in case. Have the two lead ships, and. Okay! Well, I have nothing I can use to. I never thought I'd actually pick. I've never picked up a submarine with a surface ship sonar. I got nothing to hit him with. I thought I had a helicopter. I didn't have a helicopter on the ready. So, that's annoying. Okay, we're going... Oh my god, there's three... Alright, we're going to do an about face with the fleet. We're going to do a bit of an about face. We're going to do an about face to prevent any torpedoes from actually reaching us. Because the only way we're going to dodge a torpedo is if we outrun the range. And I don't think they do. We know this. It's a submarine assumed hostile. I'm talking a lot. Yeah, we don't know what this thing is. We know it's a submarine, we just assume it's hostile because, well, there are no fucking... There are no neutral submarines. Except for, like, I think, like, in two missions. But there are no neutral submarines. Like, not to mention the fact that there are two American submarines here this close is already pretty much fucking impressive because the American submarines do not operate close. And for there's a very good reason for that. And that's because they don't need to. So, if an American submarine hears a submarine on a sonar, it's more than likely not good. Okay, we got comms available in a second. Okay, so, now, here, orders are coming to comms depth. Submarines will not stay at comms depth. They have to go very shallow to get to comms depth. Once they get up there, you can give him one to two orders, and then he's going to dive back down to complete those orders. Until then, we can't control them because they're too deep. You know, like, he's at death for 200. This is track zero, zero, eight, one. Entering the circuit. Over. Copy! USS Annapolis, I need you to head north. Will do. Roger. Out. Will do. Roger. Out. And then, yep, under 100 feet, I can't tell him. So I just told him to go here and then up here. So we're all turning around. Now, if I do this, don't delay that order. Uh, filters? No. Control. Here we are. Ship stations. One thing I love about this game is that how they hold the ship station. This station will maintain this constant bearing off the flagship, the carrier. Meaning this ship will turn with the carrier, but that station is going to stay there. So this guy will always be on station as long as he holds this bearing to the carrier. And this isn't the relative bearing, this is actual bearing. So this guy will always maintain a bearing of zero, zero, zero from the carrier. So bearing zero, zero, true. Which means north, due north. And I do not think I can move this to, I can. Oh, I just learned something new. Okay, well, let me put this, try and put this back near this guy, guys. And now this guy's gonna like, fuck, I gotta go find the station now, asshole. Oh. Look at that, you can see the carrier in the background, the ship's in the background. That's cool. It's very rare to see a ship that close. So, yeah. 
And we do have air stations. I think we only got one air station, though. Okay, so this line that just popped up is just means it's a bearing line. So all we know is that we are getting a, a ESM, electro, uh, electronics, I can't exactly what the ESM stands for, electronic, electronic search mass. Holy shit. Well, or electronic search mode, basically. Long story short, it's the receiver of when it hits, when it gets a radar ping or a radio wave, it says, oh, hey, I just got a ping from this bearing. And we just got a confirmation of this. And this thing's flying at a speed. It looks like a civilian, but the altitude, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm amazed I actually picked these up on the active frequency. So this guy's probably going, oh, it's Normandy. Oh. Yeah, so he's probably going, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. We need to get our aircraft up in the air. We'll have five minutes for a Tomcat. Time for Viking. And the nice thing is about this game, right now we're going li Oh. This is gonna get loud. I think. But yeah. The nice thing is they actually use the elevators to come up. And they have some like this guy is gonna go to catapult number two. This guy's gonna come to here. Like it's really cool. This guy's gonna go straight to this catapult. And you can see the uh models. Now if a carrier gets hit by a missile and these fuckers are on here. They're modeled. They're gonna get hit. They're gonna go boom. But, uh. I forgot what I was about to say. I got distracted. Oh, yeah. So, right now we're going at a one for one scale. Down here, scale. One to one time, real time. If I press T, it speeds up. I'm going to do maximum speed for a little bit until our first aircraft comes up. They're moving pretty good. This is track zero, zero, eight, two. Entering the circuit. Over. All right, I'm going to want you to come over here for a second. We'll do Roger. Okay, yeah, so they're, I'm not going to give him any orders, but I, I can't order him to come to contest, which is sad. I'm going to come here. I know there's an enemy fleet around there. Eventually. If it was fast enough, you would see another plane come up and get in the position, a holding position to hold behind. But yeah, I don't fuck with submarines. I've never lost a ship to a submarine torpedo? But I have lost ships to submarines. That might be a civilian aircraft. Oh, it's funny. If an AI, if the AI kills a civilian, I get blamed for it. He ends our embassy. Over here is an enemy, uh, what's it called? Airfield. 40 seconds, so we got our aircraft airborne. So yeah, my plan is pretty much kill these summary and then we're gonna head back here. I know there's a group of more enemies up here. That's an enemy airfield. Oh no, I think it's a neutral. No, it's an enemy. Be warned, neutral aircraft will take off from enemy airfields. And enemy aircraft will take off from neutral airfields. So just because there's bad planes coming out of it doesn't mean it's a bad airfield. Launch. And then here comes this guy. Alright, we got our first fighter out. I'll have you turn on your radar. Hornet up. Both the Hornets got up. Cool. Hornet, you'll be group number one. You'll maintain over here. Oh, they launched pretty quickly. Nothing. Group two. All right, these guys, and you'll be the long-range striking forces. Oh, Tomcat just got him. So I'll use the Tomcats to identify targets. Identify 
Yeah, they have more range than the, uh... I believe they have more range than the... Hornets. Where's the Viking? Hi, I have a job for you. Alright, go to your active sonar booth and start dropping them. Because... Why not? Oh, it's like that. Get to Hawkeye. Okay, we got two more Tomcats getting in here. I think that's all the submarines we're going to have to deal with, honestly, thinking about it. Yeah, now, one slight... There's a few slight, um, a historical parts. One, the F-14 Tomcat never carried the AIM-120. They did modify it to eventually take the AIM-120, but they never actively used it in combat. It's just a generic F-14. It's not an F-14A, B, or D. Oh, for fuck's sake. I already shot this guy. I don't think that guy's friendly. Alright, well, um, try and outrun them if you can. Although, I don't think you're going to be able to outrun them. I don't trust you. Oh, that's a little scary. That's a kitchen. That is a very mean, 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 mean missile. I can just get some torpedoes in the water. I don't think you're a good guy. Call it a hunch. I need my E2 up like now. Birds away. Track one, four, five, five. I think that's going for the carrier. Take Just get another one up there. I don't trust that. Uh, Normandy, I'll have you launch another one at this guy. That was a waste. Oh yeah, it was right down there too. I don't think that's a, yeah. I think that's a bad guy, given for the fact that he's now changing his course as fast as like that. You said you said you said I thought you said you had an emergency. Trust one. Okay, don't use a use a sidewinder on this guy. Oh yeah. So if I hit J, this gives you India Maritime Patrol. It tells you what they have. Torpedoes and depth charges, huh? Oh. Need a little 3D model here. That tells you what its job it does. I mean, just shoot a hit a side it's down a sidewinder. Although with it being propeller, actually I think that's turbojet. It's be very hard to actually lock a sidewinder under that. Okay, go identify him. We see this white ring, that's our radar range. Beautiful. So, yeah, those kitchens were probably launched all the way back here. Yeah, those are long-range missiles. Yeah, hey, these guys aren't having a good fucking day at all. Look at this Viking. Gonna eat them alive. And then, just in case, I got helicopters coming up for these guys. Who do I identify... These are more kitchens, I'm telling you right now. Go verify them. Now he has to get low to drop his torpedo. Although I'm surprised I'm not getting a verification of the uh I normally get as close as I can to drop because torpedoes are so slow. 
Mark 50 torpedo. Now these should be like kilo, so I don't think or either, either kilos or fox trots. Basically, they're not gonna be able to outrun these torpedoes. Yep. See him down there. This guy is definitely planking out. Okay, be careful. You're flying towards that. Yeah, he's gonna. That's a plane. Right on there. Now, to be fair, if the kitchens come in this slow, as slow as this. Oh, that's a dick move. Gonna <laughs> drop torpedo right in front of him. So it's falling right now. Yeah, it's a torpedo. That would be a Foxtrot class submarine. And she is dead. So there's this torpedo. It's back there. I need you to turn back around. What are you... Nothing's foolproof. Sometimes you're... Sometimes torpedoes go stupid. Torpedo away. Track one, four, one. All right, now I'll turn the fleet around. Oh yeah, you are definitely an enemy. She was the one party. I want to save the Phoenix for when I eventually find out who the fuck the kitchens are. That is a definitely a uh plane. Get out of there. Now thankfully the Tomcat is fast as fuck. Get out of there. Full speed motherfucker. There you go. Zoomies. Yep. Oh that was a hairy oh that was just that was an overkill. That Harrier outclassed. Their, their carrier should be over here then. Try and see if you can go between them. How close are you to actually hitting this thing? And you... Oh yeah, you're about to take out this. Now here's the thing about the map. We have possible... So we think he's over here. Our torpedo's over here. I have never seen a torpedo miss like that. I got him. Take it back. One, four, one, three. We'll do. Roger out. Nothing's foolproof. VID track one, four, six, five out. Yeah, you're not gonna catch them. Um, keep playing. ID north. track one, four, two, six. Roger out. What would I wanted to do? Oh yeah. I'll use this guy back here. Two two one. That's down there. That's got no. Two. Two two one's over. Now return to base. Return to base. Can do. 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 Can not the longest range for anti-ship missiles, but believe me, it's I'm I'm not gonna waste my heavy-duty long-range anti-ship missiles on these little guys. There's bigger ships out there. Where did I miss going for? And here's the thing: the these things. Very, very good at defending the fleet. 
Because they have a lot of VLS systems. Like, a lot. Okay, you're flying in between. Go identify this guy. Okay, this guy's zooming. Oh, I know you're a bad guy. Oh, yeah, he's way over land. He's way back there. So even though this is like shown over here, but no, oh, hang on, one guy way back there. You're way back there. Oh, I'm not worried about that thing. Is it you? No, it's you. One, four, six. Can I get a phoenix on you? Are you close? Oi! Are you within range for a Phoenix shot? Because I know, I, I saw your missiles come out. Oh, here comes the sentry. Or the Hawkeye. However, I'm going to pause it here. Because time limit is up. I'm going to have to sit this in one fucking sitting. Because if you actually quit out of the mission, you actually get a map that shows everything in truth, so I'm going to do this one in one sitting. This is Hutal saying thank you for joining me on this play of Fleet Command. Stay safe, and as always, have an awesome, awesome day.